What are you doing? What do you believe? I'm having a bad day. It started when Bonnie denied me my Silas-like immortality. Of course, because Catherine Pierce can't be happy with good old vampire caliber immortality. <laughs> I deserved it. I never had a graduation, a prom, or, you know, a life. But you did. No. You have everything. And it's not because you're a good little girl who deserves happiness. It's because you stole mine. I stole your happiness? You killed my brother. I'll admit, that was nasty. I have nothing. But I'm about to change that. Kicking someone while they're down. Classy till the end, Catherine. Your end. You deserve whatever you want out of life. You deserve this. Listen, I'm glad you're okay with who you are now. But every single thing I did to get this, I did for you. So that's the choice of whether you wanted to be a vampire or not. Would always be yours. <coughs> bye bye, little girl. <coughs> Father, I'm not there. Silas. You were stone. They saw you. The spell worked. That's the funny thing about spells. They're bound by nature. Nature demands balance, so every spell has a loophole. The spell that turned me to stone was bound by a witch. A living witch. So when that witch died, the spell broke. Bonnie? Bonnie's not dead. It doesn't matter, does it? And here's where the mystery of me comes full circle. I created the immortality spell 2,000 years ago. I could never die. So nature needed to find a balance. A version of me that could die. A shadow self. A doppelganger. So this is finally your real face? You're another one of them? Not exactly. Hello, my shadow self. Do you have any idea? What it's like to starve for 2,000 years. Um.